Hi, welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss conditional statements in Python programming language. Python supports four types of conditional statements. First one is conditional execution, alternate execution, chained conditional statement and nested conditional statement. So we will see one by one. First, we will start with conditional execution. In this case, uh, there is one condition like uh, if whenever that particular condition is executed, a set of statements will be executed. Otherwise, if that particular statement is false, those statements will be skipped and then the execution will continue with the next statement. In this case, if you see here, first it will check the value of x. If the value of x is greater than 0, that is yes, then it will print this uh, x is positive. Otherwise, if x is not greater than 0, it will skip this particular statement and then the execution continues with the next line. To demonstrate this particular thing, I will take one very simple example. Uh, let us say that initially I will ask user to enter the value of x. So uh, that the value of x will be stored into x after converting into int. Then we use a if statement. If x is greater than 0, then we execute one statement. Else. Uh, we will execute one, one statement let us say that the finish just to understand it I will add the statement now what is happening here is if the value of x is greater than 0 this statement will be executed otherwise this statement will be skipped directly it will, the con uh, control will go to this particular statement for example I just show you the output let us say that the value of x is 10 now if I execute this particular thing the value of uh, x is greater than 0 because of that it will print x is positive as well as it will print finish in this case but if i execute this particular statement again with minus 10 minus 10 is not greater than 0 so it will print directly the finish in this case by skipping the statement uh, print x is positive so this is how actually the if statement works this is called as conditional statement in python now here uh, one thing we need to remember Whenever we want to use a conditional statements or any functions or something in C programming language, we use something called as curly braces uh, to club the uh, statements which will come within a particular statement or you can say that if statement. But in this case, uh, we don't use the curly braces. We use something called as colon, which will indicate that a particular block is, block is getting started here. And all the statements come, uh, which will come under this block will be written by leaving uh, the indentation or you can say the one tab space. You can see here this particular tab space indicates that the print statement is present within this particular uh, if block. For example, if you want to add one more statement in uh, within this if block like uh, just, just say that this is if block, I can add something like this. Now, how many statements are present in this if block two statements are there so if block should end with colon and then uh, all the statements should be written by leaving one tab space uh, then only all the statements will come under this particular if block now if i execute this particular statement if i take 10 it will say that x is positive this is if block as well as finish so that is what the output if i execute it one more time with minus 10 in this case it will say that I directly finish because minus 10 is not greater than 0. It will skip those two statements which comes under if block. Now one more thing uh, what I need to remember is if I write this particular statement here, it will be out of if block. If I write it here, it is within the if block. So that's a very important thing uh, one should remember because uh, this is how actually the blocks are created in uh, if uh, in uh, Python. Next coming back to the next uh, statement, uh, there is something called as alternate execution. Uh, in this case, there are two possibilities uh, like uh, we have if as well as else block. That is what you can see. Uh, we check some condition. If the condition is true, we will execute certain number of statements. If the condition is false, we will execute the other set of instructions. That is called as uh, if and else block or it's also called as alternate execution. So in this example, I have considered one very simple uh, uh, alternate execution statement let us say that x mod 2 is checked with 0 whether x mod 2 is equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 it will go to this block this side and then it will print that x is even otherwise it will go to this side and then it will print x is odd so that is how actually it works so if you want to see the program how it looks like uh, i will ask user to enter the number that's the first thing and then uh, i store that particular number into a variable x 
Now I will check a uh, condition that is whether x mod 2 is equal to 0. If that is the case, I need to execute this statement. That is this statement comes under if block. You can see here there is a uh, indentation here or a proper indentation and this statement ends with colon. So if x mod 2 is equal to 0 ends with colon, this is the statement comes under if block. If you want, I will add just to understand this if block, I will add one statement. Uh, this is if block. So how many statements are there in this case? Two blocks here, uh, two statements. Similarly, I will add one more uh, thing. I uh, can say that this is else block just to understand so how many statements are there in the if block uh, two statements how many statements in else block two statements okay so i will try to execute it here uh, let us say that 10 10 mod 2 is equal to 0 so first two set of statements will be executed that is x is even this is if block now i'll try to execute one more time let us say that 9 9 mod 2 is not equal to 0 it will display x is odd and this is else block now we can remember one thing here each and every uh, uh, the conditional statements like if uh, else or you can say that uh, later we will be studying something called as a looping statements all those things should end with the colon here uh, this indicates that uh, from here onwards uh, whatever i write everything comes under this particular block and uh, the all the statements should be written by leaving one indentation block from here onwards so that is how actually it looks like now the next one is uh, something called as a chained conditional statement here what happens is uh, we go on checking some different conditions at uh, different stages and finally we come up with the else block for, e for example if x is less than y if it is true then we will print uh, x is less okay similarly if x is greater than y if this is false then it will come to this particular statement and here we will check one more condition in if block uh, we don't do that if else block we don't do it we directly go to the else block but in this case we are checking whether x is greater than y if that is the case we print it's greater next what we do here is we will check one more condition uh, we don't can uh, we directly go to the else block and then we print uh, uh, it is uh, equal so what we are doing here is we are checking one if block if it is true we will print it if it is false we check one more condition if it is false then it will go to this particular thing okay so that is how actually it works so if you want to see here we will read two numbers that is x is equal to so and so and y is equal to so and so we'll read two numbers and those numbers were stored into x and y here now first i'll check whether x is less than y if it is the case we say that it is uh, uh, x is less that is print uh, this is if block okay otherwise if it is uh, false then we'll check one more condition that is else if we don't write else if in python we write elif elif and then we check one more condition that is x is greater than y we write x is greater and then we write a print uh, this is you can say that uh, else if block okay and then finally we can have one more block here that is uh, mm, this is uh, else block okay so now if this is uh, true it will print x is greater greater and then this is else if block if it is false then it will go to the last uh, else block and then it will print both are equal and uh, this is uh, else block so just see the thing let us say that i will read 10 for x 10 for y it will directly go to the last block whether 10 is less than 10 no it will not execute this one whether 10 is greater than 10 no else block both are equal this is else block now i'll show you one more thing let us say that 10 and then it is 20 whether 10 is less than 20 yes so x is less and then this is if block there is one more example let us say that 20 and then 10 whether 10 uh, 20 is less than 10 no whether 20 is greater than 10 yes so x is greater and this will be executed so any one of these things will be executed in this series of uh, 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 you can say conditional statements now coming back to the last one uh, there is something called as nested conditional statement here we can add one state uh, conditional statement within another conditional statement for example uh, if x is equal to y if x is equal to y it will go to the directly this one that is yes print equal if x is not equal to y that's x is not equal to y it will come to this particular side that is no now within this particular thing we are adding one more if statement that is if x is less than y it will print x is less otherwise it is printing x is greater so what we are doing here is this is the if statement within if statement we are adding one more statement over here okay uh, we'll take one very simple example to understand it 
uh, let us say that I will read two numbers again. First, I will check whether uh, x is equivalent to y. If that is the case, we will print uh, both are equal. Otherwise, it will go to else block. Within else block, we are checking one more condition. That is, uh, if x is less than y, we will print x is less. Otherwise, we will print x is greater in this case. So, if you take uh, 10 and 10, it will be the first case is uh, true. So, it will print uh, both are equal. If that is not the case, 10 and then 20, whether 10 is equal to 20, no, it will go to else block. Within else block, we have 10 is less than 20, yes, so x is less will be printed here. Now, coming back to the next one, uh, let us say that I will take 20 and 10, so 20 is equal to 10, no, whether 20 is, uh, it will go to the else block. Within else block, we have x is less than y, whether x is less than y or 20 is less than y, uh, 10, no it will print x is greater in this case. So, this is how actually we can write, uh, uh, can say that uh, different uh, conditional statements. One thing you can see here, this print statement comes under this if block. So, we need to leave this one indentation block for this one and one indentation this one is for this if block. So, totally there are two indentation blocks are there. Okay, So, that is one thing you need to remember while writing uh, the, uh, can say that uh, uh, any conditional statements or a block of statements here. So, in this video, uh, I try to explain uh, what are the different uh, conditional statements present in Python like a conditional statement, uh, alternate execution, chained conditional statement and nested conditional statements with simple programming examples. I hope uh, this concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you for watching.